Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. We're going to be doing a organizational kind of like cleaning my entire upstairs space and organizing it together because I feel like I've been doing a lot of shopping lately. So I've been thrifting a lot and whenever it kind of gets to where I feel like okay you've been going a little crazy it's time to purge. So I go through my whole closet. We purge so much stuff. I have a whole huge bag to donate and then I also have some stuff I'm going to sell on my website. So if you guys know, I had a website that was connected to my physical thrift store. I closed my thrift store. I still have all of my stuff, but I don't really want to sell it individually. I don't really have the time or energy to do any sort of Depop or Poshmark thing. I would rather just try to sell it in bulk. So I got the idea that maybe I'll start doing mystery bags where you can just kind of say your size, whether it's small, medium, large, extra large. I will just send two mystery bags. Well, they're because I can fit about three to four pieces per bag and we'll find a price for it and you order it and I send it off. But I think it'll probably more just be like, you'll get what you get <laughs> type situation. I think that could be fun. So maybe uh, it would be fun for somebody to just receive two bags of just some random stuff from my store. I wanna make it affordable. So that should be up on my website by the time you're watching this video. So go check out the mystery bags, maybe buy yourself one if you want. No pressure, just trying to get rid of some stuff. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Here's going back to the hot mess that my upstairs space was two days ago. First of all, here is the pile I need to get rid of. And then back here is the pile. This is me looking for a piece of paper. So we gotta kinda just, you know, redo this a little bit better and make another pile for a donation to the mission. And then we're gonna go through my stuff. I mean, I have so many new things too that I've just thrifted with the tag still on. What I typically do is when I'm going through my clothes and I can't decide, I will look at it and think, when's the last time I wore it? And if I hold it in my hand, and I get a ick feeling from it, like, ugh, I just don't want to wear this, it goes. Even a smidge of a feeling goes, man, I want to wear it, it goes. Because I don't have time for things that don't make me feel 100% stoked on it. I think there's a lot of things I don't wear because I just don't have the energy to steam it, so I need to steam anything that needs it. Stop washing things and throwing them into a pile. Right now, all I'm going to do is put things into organized piles, and then once I've done that, I can kind of go through the closet and say what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. Let's get entertained. <laughs> Now on to the fun part. We are going to go through all of the items that I think would be interesting to discuss. Not everything because that would take a really long time. This I've had forever and this is something I can't get rid of. It is a Aritzia really worn weathered tank and I can't get rid of it and I love Aritzia. I wish we had one here in Tacoma and I used to shop there all the time when I lived in Seattle. See I forgot about this. This is what happens when you can't see your clothes. I completely forgot about this Free People ruched tank top. I need to wear this. I've never worn it in an outfit. Okay, this is a prime example of something that I've had in my closet for a really long time. I keep trying to donate it and then pulling it out of the bag and putting it back on the rack thinking I'm going to wear it. And this is the maybe fifth year that I've never worn it. I thrifted this and had this for sale in my store and I decided I would keep it on my rack in case I wanted to wear it sometime. I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it and I have to vow to put that in a cute outfit within the next week or else it goes. This, you guys saw me purchase it. The Love Shack fancy little top, this almost doesn't fit me. 
Honestly, we're borderline doesn't fit. These adorable ruffly shirts, they're just so good for wearing underneath spaghetti strap tight dresses or overalls. Dog walking shirt, doesn't need hung up. Never gonna wear it. When I look at it and I think about it, it gives me a feeling that makes me say, Sienna, you're never gonna wear that. And so it's time to go. It is really nice though. It is by the Great Northwest Clothing Company. It is a lovely cotton blouse button up. It has ties around the waist. This would be a really cute top for somebody. Another one that I just keep saying to myself I'm going to wear and I just put it on and I don't wear it. This one I keep thinking I'm going to pair it into a cute outfit. It is a pink gingham button up, but when I put it on, I take it right back off. I actually get really excited to do this because it's such a weight off the shoulders purge because you're really just simplifying your closet and making room for new stuff. I've tried so many times to wear this in an outfit. I love it so much. It's a Mark New York goldenrod color. It's just really flattering. It's just not my style. This was something I got. It's a cotton like tunic. I got this at the start of the pandemic. And every time I look at this, it just makes me think of lockdown because I lived in these type of like cotton, comfortable, cozy linen type tops. And I think I'm, I think I'm over it. I think I'm ready to move on from this phase in my life where I was just living in tunics. <laughs> So that's gonna go. Another one that I just, I love it, but I'm over it. This is a really adorable dress. Can I get rid of that? Not ready for it, not ready for it. This I got because an influencer took a photo in it and I fell in love with it and I had to have it and I ordered it because it was the only one left and it was a size too big and it really is just way too big on me, but it's so cute. It's just too big, so she needs to go. Little free people dress that I wore in uh, Port Townsend. Love that dress, brand new, just got it. Little scotch and soda fun dress that I don't wear enough. This is an Elia dress. Elia is actually a designer from LA and I just, I don't wear it. I think it's time for that to go. Universal thread tunic top. Do I wanna keep that? It's just not my vibe anymore. It's just not, I'm not that. I love this. This is one of my favorites. I got this thrifting at a vintage store but it's not vintage, it's actually designer. It's Sonia Raikiel, uh jean ruffle dress. So these are all things that I took out of my store I thought I would keep, and then now I'm like, nope. <laughs> this dress is really pretty. It's actually really pretty. It's just this blue, really long, flowy summer dress. This was in my store. It's a little jumper. It's actually really cute on, but it's just not my style. This dress I got for Sacramento, and then I just, I don't know. I it, the, the dreamy garden farm girl look just wasn't what I was feeling for Sacramento, so I ended up not bringing it, but I do want to actually wear this and go get some photos in the flower garden. This is gonna be definitely styled soon. I'm over it. It's too big on me. Okay, pretty much organized it all. It's half basically of what was on the rack. This is all hangers, backup hangers, and this is all empty from sorting through all the clothes. For dresses, I have everything organized by color. <laughs> I made this dress and I love it and I can't believe I made it. I honestly can't. And I made it just no pattern, just for the heck of it. And how cute is it? It's so cute. <laughs> I can't bring myself to get rid of it. Uh, it doesn't need to be hanging up though, so I do need to find somewhere for it to go. The shirts, I'm really impressed with how much I downsized, honestly, but a lot of them are just in the laundry and need put back because I wore them to Sacramento or something or they need steamed. So I just have a few now of the more long sleeve, this new thing I just got, I can't wait to wear. Yeah, my t-shirt, this is new. This one, gave it a little wash. I love this so much. This is probably one of my favorite things I found in Sacramento other than my cowboy boots. And yeah, then simplified, simplified, all of that. So much better. This is all going to either go into my shop, like my online shop where I'm gonna do the mystery bags. I'm gonna donate. This might turn into a two day project because I really feel like I need to go through this and I still need to figure out something fun and cool to do with this area because it just always looks like a mess. And I need to think of a creative way to tidy it up a little bit. Good morning. We are back and it is turning into a two day project. <laughs> Just as I had suspected. I have some things to steam. I have some things to cut and sew. 
We've got projects, people. These are working really good to store my berets and such. And I put my cowboy boots up on the top shelf. They fit perfectly there. Allocated this shelf here to put in the center. And I really like the look of that. Plus it holds all these cubes. If you remember before, those cubes were kind of loosely just hanging out up top. And it just looks so messy. That looks way better. I'm going to do a, like an official tour when I have everything exactly how I want it. This is a pile of to-dos. So I need to cut, hem, or steam something in this pile. Everything is steamed and hung up. Now I am going to go through the makeup kit, but uh, one thing I want to do is go make myself a breakfast. I also have to straighten up this side because I was looking for something when we were packing for our trip and it turned into me literally pulling everything out of this little cubby <laughs> and having one of those disastrous searches for one thing. I still don't know if I found it. So I'm actually going to attempt this recipe I saw on Instagram last night from a chef who did a different type of deviled egg than I've ever seen. So we're gonna go make that for breakfast. Okay, so here's the recipe. You basically take deviled eggs and then you pan fry them. Uh, she also makes like a hollandaise to put over it. Do I have lemon to do this? Yeah, this is the recipe. I'll put a link to this below. Her name is Kelly's Clean Kitchen and it looks so good. Full recipe on her website. So I'm going to check that out. It's called Eggs Jeanette. Eggs Jeanette. I mean, nothing like making dog burp. I love Shih Tzu burps. It's my favorite sound. Uh, so nothing better than taking some eggs that your friend gave you. Okay, I have all my eggs. I'm going to dip them into the pot. All right, got some sage. I honestly only have just two types of herbs, so I'm just throwing in what I had. I don't know that cilantro and sage go together. Whatever, I'm gonna make it work. Oh my gosh, that sage smells so good. Okay, I pushed a little bit too hard on this one. Oops, let's hope it still works because I have the measurements in this bowl for four eggs. a little something on Instagram. You know this is ready when the water beads off like mercury. If it does this, it's not hot enough. It's really just still very much like deviled eggs, but you want to make sure it's flat on the top because it's going to get fried. So you will have some left over and that will be your dressing. All right, that looks good. Yeah. Okay. Face down. Okay, so while that cooks, I'm gonna make the vinaigrette, which is basically like the dressing. A tablespoon of mustard, some olive oil. Reminds me a little of hollandaise sauce. Hollandaise sauce is one of my favorites, which is essentially egg yolks and lemon. Oh, that is so good. I think I want mine to be sort of a honey Dijon. So I'm gonna do a little bit of honey in mine. I didn't vlog this, but I went on a bike ride recently happened to pass by a yard sale and she had all of these Le Creuset lovely pieces for sale. I got three Le Creuset pieces for $10 and one of them was including this honey pot. So I immediately went to the local market and got honey that was just collected within the past week prior to me getting it. So it was the freshest honey I'd ever had in my entire life. It's so good. It's such a game changer getting local honey that's fresh. Cutest honey pot. Look at that, it's got a little bee on it. I also got the sugar dish. So cute, I already have the spoon. And then I got this, like Crusade spoon holder. I couldn't believe it. I got all of that for $10. All 
right, the moment of truth. I might save some of this for a kale salad if I get a little snacky later, because that sounds pretty good on top of kale. And there is our eggs, Jeanette. Sorry if I'm gonna be eating in front of you and you don't like that kind of content on YouTube. <laughs> I don't particularly like to watch people eat. I say it every time. And that's why I always do a funny effect over my face when I'm eating, because it makes me laugh. But we really do want to have an authentic reaction, so let's just try it. That was delicious. Mm. That is so good. The dressing is really, really good. All right, well, I'm gonna go put down my breakfast. If I, am I really going to eat four eggs right now? Maybe not all of them, but I'll get pretty darn close. We have here in this, I'm trying not to show my address on this box. Can I cover it? Yes. So here is um, a new makeup kit that has arrived. I haven't even unboxed it yet because it's been a mess up here. It's a nicer one for sure. It's not canvas. It's more like a vinyl maybe. That's that one. And this is the one I had. That's the exact same size. All right, so now we have the things that I would like to put in my mystery bags. I put them in these baggies. They're sealable, basically like t-shirt bags. And then I have size stickers I can slap on them. And I try to fit as many things into one bag as I can. You know, however many pieces I've decided are gonna be in each one. I'm really sad to see this dress go. But this is gonna be an XL. So I basically try to put XLs with each other. Back there is all the stuff I bagged up today and then I need to get a couple more Tupperware bins so that they're not just laying out like that. So this chair is going to be a project so I need to find material to recover it. It had a plant on it for a while and it leaked all over the top of this chair but the frame is still in really good condition and it's such an adorable little vintage chair. I just could not bring myself to get rid of it. Alright so now we're going to recover the chair. Well, that was probably one of the sloppiest upcycles I've ever done in my entire life, but it's done. I just have so much on my plate right now and I have so much more to do. I didn't really want to spend too much time on this project. Maybe I'll upcycle it proper sometime where I just focus on really cool material, giving it a trim, maybe even repainting the frame. But for now, at least it's not an eyesore anymore and I can set it somewhere up here for possibly sitting and putting on my shoes and it's cute and it's not disgusting anymore <laughs> I'm done <laughs> oh my goodness two freaking days it took me to completely go through everything up here is that my angel <laughs> oh and there comes my other baby <laughs> okay you get up there no barking <laughs> I'm gonna try to finish this but they uh Love to just sit in that window and bark. Earlier there were two bunny rabbits running around in the yard. My dog wasn't actually barking at it. He was just... <laughs> and his little ears flopping around just trying to understand what's going on with these two rabbits. Anyway, everything looks really good. I'm really happy with the results. I did one upcycle project. I wanted to do a sewing project, but I'm pooped. That took it out of me. And my, apparently, my watch says that my activity over the past two days, that red bar is my activity and it has gone around the circle twice. So I'm gonna show you around and just kind of explain what I've done and wrap this up. Makeup kit is all packed up and organized into these two pieces of luggage and I actually have a few makeup gigs this month so that'll be perfect for those. Nothing's really changed from when 
I reorganized and did the wallpapering in here. So if you watched that video, you've already seen kind of how all of this has been set out, decorated, and organized. Nothing really changed in here except for I brought the white round rug in here instead of having it in the other room. And I actually really like it in here. I don't know why I never did that before. Now we're gonna go on to the closet progress. So this now has no more sweaters on it. It's just, uh, well, it has a couple of cardigans in the back, but it is mostly my button ups if I ever wanna use them as like a jacket in a cool summer evening and blazers as well for just covering up if I need to. But for the most part, I'm probably not gonna pull from this very often now that it's starting to get warm out. All of my dresses are now on this rack, super organized, really minimized. I just love it. I really only have things on this rack now that I genuinely absolutely love. And then here, same with the shirts. I really dumbed down and it's only things that are newer items to me that I'm excited to put into an outfit that I haven't even worn yet, honestly. Over here, I've moved the poof so that I can sit and contemplate an outfit. I have some skirts hanging up that are new, that black pleated one from the Goodwill with the tag still on. I haven't even worn yet. And then we move on to this space. This was so satisfying to organize and make look like this. I know it still looks like a lot. It's a closet, so it's gonna look like a lot. It's hard to make shoes and things like that not look cluttered without having cabinets where you can shut them. But this thing, this was my <laughs> counter at my store and it has been such a great cabinet for all of my bodysuits are in here now. Now they're not cluttering up that space. Yoga pants, sweatpants, all of my t-shirts, hoodies, and then all of my sunglasses are organized on this lovely sunglass holder that I got off Amazon. Curtain set up just to change it up a little bit. It's very retro 70s and I love it. Onto this section, there's the chair that I recovered. I really, really like it. I think the pink silky sheen, it just looks really, looks kind of opalescent, you know, when you move around. I don't know. I just never thought to put silk on that before and it's really nice. All of my jewelry is here now. So, well, it always was, but it's just, I've gone through it. I've got it all organized. Those new earrings that I just thrifted recently are there. I just needed to see it all. I don't have a lot of jewelry though. Rings, some watches and stuff, and just some random little bracelets I stuck in there. I love these milk glass holders. They're just fun. This is a little diffuser that is kicking out some delicious smells. I've, right now I've got lavender, peppermint, and uh, lemon. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't do this before. This shelf was back there and I was using it to store all that stuff, but I already have these cubes. So now I have all of my PJs, all of my tank tops, bathing suits, shorts, things like that, all now nicely organized. This has my winter gloves in it. Little Reed diffuser. We have a Dr. Varange's lovely smell, Rosa Tobacco. If I really want to kick it up a notch in here and make it smell good. I love being able to see my cowboy boot collection and I'll move those down if I start to collect more across. But I do think my goal would be to get more cowboy boots. Backup purses, sneakers, my yoga stuff is over here. More hats in the hat box. Tall boy dresser that I found on the corner. I want to now line this with hats. So another goal, get more straw hats. And then yeah, we're back to the purses and the mirror. So that's the whole space. I just feel like it really came together. It looks great. And I love my upstairs. I just love it so much, especially when it's like this, where everything's organized and I know where everything is and I don't feel like overwhelmed. Anytime I notice that my creative flow isn't really working, there's something like I need to clean my space. I need to clear it out. I need to declutter reorganize it and get back to a place where I'm back to, back to feeling creative again because I just feel like I've really been in a creative rut lately and that's just not me. But anyway, back to Sienna to close her out. Uh, it looks great up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!